When did you become involved as far as being president of the Historical Society? You are now a vice president, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, 1996, mm -hmm. I became the president for the next 20 years. And, <laughs> uh, you know, one thing about that, we always had such wonderful volunteers. They were just remarkable, and which helped me do my job and helped us keep the museum going and wasn't always easy. You know, we didn't have money. We had to pay all our bills. Mm -hmm. There weren't the grants available then that are now, for sure. And um, well, that's probably it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was different times. Yeah. Different times. You paid for everything. And, but now, they, you know, you don't. <laughs> You get, uh, you know, grants now, of course, from the district and mm -hmm. Harrison and tourism, and we didn't have any of those. Well, there's some of the, uh, I know it's hard to pick one or two even, there's so many things that have gone on over the decades in this community, but uh, can you tell us anything about the Corn Festival every year? Oh, well, that was always popular. Yeah, we always put a, a float for the museum in the parade and very popular with the kids. Now the fall fair is in September, but um, was the Corn Festival s still part of that, or was it tied in with the May Day no. parade or weekend? No, no, it, it became part of the fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, the fair, we always, uh, like I said, we always had a museum float. You and your husband, Alan, have been involved with uh, hiking groups, walking groups, uh, can you tell us a bit about, was it the Troopers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Troopers. <laughs> yep, we went, uh, we were members of the Troopers for about 20 years. And uh, this would begin when? When we retired back here in 1990. You know, we were working around here, because this was all bush. And we cleaned it ourselves, cleared it off ourselves. So... You know, we were working all the time. We had Alan says we got to do something else, so we joined the hiking group, and so hiked every Wednesday for the next twenty years. And it was great because you pack your lunch and you go for the day, and um, go to a different place. You know, you may go to the second place next year, but that one year you never repeated. So it was good. Yeah, this couple from Germany came here and started the hiking group, Heinz and Ruth Altendorf, and he did a wonderful job of planning the trips every week. He'd go and check them out before we went on them the following week, kept car decks of all the hikes. Yeah, it was good. Is there anything over the years, uh, obviously you've seen many changes in Agassiz and it's starting to go through a bit of a growing spurt right now. Is there something that stands out over the years? Well, the fact that the farms were so small compared to today. Mm -hmm. Like my grandparents' farm on McRae Road, they had one barn, about 10 cows, two horses, you know, a few chickens, um, you know, and did things by hand. And that's a big change to me compared to the farms now. Mm -hmm the buildings, the animals, you know, all the machinery. It's quite a change. Yeah, robotics are moving in. <laughs> have, have moved in already. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Joan. <laughs> You're welcome.